Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. Well, just after we finished this review on the Amaze Fit Pace Watch, doggone if they didn't release a firmware update. But this is different than what we've seen in other watch firmware updates where they just simply push it to you and you have to really hunt to find out what's going on. These guys, with their own website on this particular watch, are giving us all the details of what the firmware update is about. So before we dive into the actual update process, let's take a look at what they're excited about. Here's their website, and they're talking about the Pace Watch update is here. There we have exciting news. It's an OTA, over-the-air update, and it's for both iOS and Android. So what does it do? Well, it tells you how you get there. And if you've got one of these, this is what you're going to do. You're going to connect your watch to Wi-Fi on the 2.4 gigahertz band. And uh, the Wi-Fi prompt will be on the app in your phone. But once you put that in, the phone is going to transfer all of that information to the watch. And the watch will be on Wi-Fi, which is really cool. Now, after you connect it to Wi-Fi... You press the activation button in the upper right corner of your watch. That turns it on, right? And then we're going to do these things. Swipe down once and then swipe left three times to more settings and so forth and so forth. And then you get to the update. We'll do that. And it may take up to five minutes or longer due to, and I love this, a GPS firmware upgrade. Uh-huh. So what's new? Uh -huh, here we go. It's going to include new sports modes of biking for both indoor and outdoor, as well as indoor running, watch face customization, and translation issues that have been fixed. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Further improvements were made to uh, activity data syncing, heart rate, pace, and GPS route tracking. And the GPS firmware, again, has also been updated to now version 2.84. Airplane mode has been added, along with an option to switch between, yes, metric and imperial units of measurement. If you've been stuck on kilometers, the fix is here. Yay! Okay, I'll just show you this information, and then we'll get started on this. Okay, the watch app now has also been updated beyond the firmware update. These fixes and changes are going to be in the uh, software, which, of course, if they're adding the bike mode, now you're going to need to have the bike uh, information in the app as well, right? So you're going to need to do two updates, one the uh, firmware in the watch and the other one the actual software in your iOS or Android phone. Once you've done that and updated you're good to go. Here's how you switch your units of measurement. Here's how you can change a custom watch face. Okay. I'm hearing all the folks out there perking up about this one. I love this. The golden rooster. The last watch face. The golden rooster. Then here on the watch. And that's how you save it. All right. And then you can leave feedback on the article. So I'm really impressed above everything with this watch's ability to um, have such depth of information and support from Amazfit on just one watch, the pace itself. Let's give it a go. We're going to press once on the side. We're going to swipe down. We get the weather. Now we slide over to the side. One, two... Three times to more settings. We go in here. We scroll down until we find the up arrow, which is for update. We tap update. It's checking for new versions. We are on Wi-Fi. Uh, already had that set up. And sure enough, there's a new version 1.3.1 ready for us. So we're going to hit the check mark. It gives us a logo, goes dark, gives us a logo again, and then it should start the process of installing the new update. Here we go. Updating. Please do not power off the watch. 
we'll skip ahead. And this time, it should take a while because it's got to go through the whole process now that it downloaded the software of installing it, activating it. And we're going to get that fun, twirly, circly opening screen thing going on. So if you um, are bored with this and just want to skip through it, go right ahead. If you like this, I'm going to leave it on because we don't really get to see this that often. And personally, I think it's pretty spectacular what it's doing. So we'll let it go for a while. Okay. Ah, now we go through that typical Android thing we see where it needs to optimize each of the apps to accommodate the new uh, firmware. And we'll skip on through this. Of course, I have to sit through it, but lickety split. You get to skip through it right now. That's all done. I get a little vibration. It's reassuring us that the reboot is almost completed. That's good. Of course, almost is a nebulous word. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, it's moving on. Another little vibration I felt in my fingers. As it keeps twirling the little circles around. There, and now we have our original watch face back. Okay, I don't forget what the time was when we started, but there it is now, so you have an idea how long that took. Gonna push the button like we did before, swipe down, move over to the side, and we still have our battery life. We have our silent mode, our more settings, Aha, uh -huh, that's the last one we have. Okay, we tap on that. And we have all of these settings, which we've seen before. Vibration, wear habit, airplane mode. That's the new one they said they put in. We have airplane mode. Update, factory, restore, power off, and about. When we go in here, we see that we are running ROM 1.3.1M, okay? And then we go back in here to update. And we check it one more time to see if there's an update on top of the update. That's always wise to do. It says the latest version is running. Okay, we are updated. Now I'm going to update the app in the phone, and then we'll see what these new changes are about. Oh, before I leave that, let's go back over here and swipe to the left. Now we have run, walk, run indoor is new, bike is new, right? And bike indoor is new. So those are the new ones that have been added here. And all the rest of it's the same. So you see those changes in, sorry, the reflection there. You see those changes in the uh, firmware have added these new capabilities to the watch. It's still not matching what we saw in the Chinese version uh, in our other video where we showed them side by side, but it is moving in that direction. So the pace is catching up with the original um, Amaze Fit watch, and we will update the app, and uh, that will allow that integration of those new types of workouts to um, your phone. So the app is the Amaze Fit Watch. You look for it in the Google Play Store, and all we got to do is update it. And let's open it.
And we are back in, and we are connected. Wow, did you see all the new faces that showed up here? Let's take a look at those. Uh-huh. This is the one we've been using so far. And now we have the speed zone. That's the one I have right here right now. Okay, these are some new ones that we're seeing down at the bottom. Let's take a look at camouflage. Ooh, I like that one. That'll be easy to read outdoors because you get that nice contrast with the reflections. Then there's this 2017. And I think it actually says 2017. And to get a good reflective light for you to see that. Here's another new one. There it is. Oh, wow. I love it how the dials kind of slide back into position. And Golden Rooster, they say uh, that that's what we're going to be able to use um, for customizing the custom uh, watch face picture with Golden Rooster. How do we do that? Well, that'll be in an upcoming video on customizing your watch face for your AmazeFit watch. All right. That's, uh, I'm going to go back to that one here, because I think that's the one I'm going to be using regularly now. Let's go over here and look at um, what else we've got. Activity syncing. The last sync. Uh, I press that button and it syncs everything up again. And remember last time in the other video I had difficulty connecting into Strava. Uh, that was just a glitch apparently on their server because I have been able to create an account and set, set that all up. So when touching that launches the app and... Um, there I am. I can find friends or search contacts. I can go over all about me. I can record a run. All right, and that's the app that's linked in here. This is me. Oh, it takes me right back to the same app, it looks like. Okay, and the data's been synced, so... Push notifications, systems permissions, applications. Now here's where we have all the different apps that we had before. And they're all turned on. So I don't see any new apps that have been added. So pretty much what it said is what we got. We have uh, the golden rooster with some sort of an ability to update the watch faces. Oh, it just changed it to that one again. And I can view details on the watch itself. Unpair it if I want to. Okay, and that's it for um, this update, this firmware update of the AmazeFit Pace, which is an amazing watch and getting better every day. Again, check the uh, show notes down below. I'll reprint that uh, buying link if you haven't bought one of these yet. It's definitely something you want to look into because um, it's getting better and better. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. Thanks for your subscription. And uh, I will be back with some information on how you modify the custom watch faces <laughs> once I figure it out myself. Not as easy as, uh, as it appears. All right. We'll see you soon.